so the qualification round for RHME3 has just ended. This is an embedded hardware CTF organized by Riscure and Argus. And the reason that there was a qualification round is because you need a board uh, to participate. It's an embedded hardware CTF. So they posted also a picture of the prototype of the board on Twitter and this is what you will get. And so to decide who will receive such a board for free to participate, they had to do this qualification round. And there were three challenges that you had to do and I solved two of them. And so you can look in the scoreboard that there are quite a few people that solved all three challenges. Yeah, there are really a lot. I only solved two. So here are a lot of the two people. And then there are a bunch who only solved one challenge, but it was enough to qualify because they will give out 500 boards. But as you can see, not quite 500 people have qualified. And so Risk was thinking what to do with the remaining boards. And I was asking them, hey, is there a possibility for me to give some away? And to kind of like make you be able to qualify even though you haven't solved one of these challenges. And that's why I make this video to announce to you that you still have the possibility to participate. You only have to basically do a thing. So I still don't know how many boards I will able to give away, but risk you like the idea. And so I'm just making this video very quick so it's out there that you can get started with whatever I want you to do. And then we will later see how, how many I will be able to give to you. And obviously it's a bit difficult to figure out who will receive a board even though you haven't solved the qualification challenges because these qualification challenges were there for a reason and so you didn't solve it and so what what will I do that allows you to receive a board? So I was thinking and my whole channel is basically about I, I want to teach people to learn something and to motivate them to play CTS because I believe it's a great place to learn new skills. And I guess also some of you try to participate here and try to solve one of these qualification challenges they, that were not quite the easiest thing to do. And maybe you failed and that's kind of frustrating. I understand this. But I want to give you another chance. And so here's what I w come up with. So first of all, I want to say this will be a highly subjective giveaway. Solving these challenges was a way to do a very objective evaluation of everybody and give everybody a chance based on the skill level. So my selection will be extremely biased, extremely subjective, and that's just unavoidable with the way I will do this now. So what you have to do is you have to send me an email and basically explaining why it is a good reason to give you a board. What I really would love to see is if you did attempt a challenge here and you failed, now you start looking at the write-ups from other people and work through them, understand them, analyze where and why you failed and then tell me the story like why did you fail and what did you miss and how would you do it differently in the future for a similar challenge. Try to analyze yourself. That's something I would find highly fascinating. Also having some hardware knowledge, at least the exploitation challenge for example and the white box I guess too were software things and maybe the traces is like a hardware tech but as a hardware hobbyist those are three things you have probably never touched before. But it's a good chance that you will do fairly well with some of the hardware challenges that will come with the physical board. So if you are a hardware enthusiast and a hobbyist and you have tools at home, tell me about your lab at home or the projects you have done with hardware. Show me that you would have equipment at home that you can even participate because with this board it's very likely or would be good that you also have some hardware at home that you can work with. I don't really want you to write an, a full-blown job application basically. That's nonsense. That doesn't really help me and you also don't learn anything. You waste your time. That's why I would like you to, whatever you write me, show me something that you have learned. That's why I would really like you to work through the failed challenges or the challenges you haven't looked at at all and like just tell me your experience. Walk Take a write-up, walk through it and maybe re-explain it with your own words. Show me your own implementation of it. Show me your own tutorial. Make a new write-up about it or whatever. Just so you show me that you have learned something. And the good thing about this is that even if 
I don't pick you and you don't get a board that the time you have invested into this application wasn't wasted because you walk still away with having had a motivation to look at these uh, at the write-ups and work through them and you have learned something. So if you send me an email and I can clearly see, oh, this person learned something here, that is a good chance that I would potentially pick you. If you can also tell me if you have some hardware equipment at home or at least some experience with like Arduinos or maybe even with soldering and maybe even designing your own little board or making some LEDs blink. Because if you have no knowledge about how electronics or microcontrollers work, this is probably the wrong CTF for you. I know these rules are and what I want is kind of fuzzy. I can't really put them in words because in the end it's a highly subjective thing. All I wanted is to give some boards away because I've chatted with many people during the CTF that really tried hard to solve them and spent days and couldn't do it in the end. And I would like for you because you learned a lot to, to get a board. So this way I can hopefully in the people who will then write me via email, find some people that hopefully deserve to, um, to still qualify. And again, I don't know how many boards I will get. I don't know how many people will write me. And so I feel already <laughs> very bad for the people who invest time into writing me and don't get a board in the end. But at least I hope that... So keep that in mind that whatever you should write me, it should benefit you even if you don't get the board because you sat down and you learned something that you haven't learned before. I hope that makes some sense and you will uh, trust my judgment for the boards and then we will see and I hopefully see you then uh, once the CTF is actually running. Find all the details in the description as well as my email address and please use the keyword Frito's Flavor Twist in the email so I can filter out already the low effort whining emails. Also this is my favorite snack so if you ever come from the US and you want to bring me something nice that's what you can bring me.